Audio Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this is a video series about how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. Hi, and welcome to Kujo Sound. Today, we'll be continuing our AAA WISE series, and we are going to be investigating the music system. However, I do know that this is called the AAA series, but to understand the music system, how that works in on, on a greater scale in the AAA systems, then you need to understand how the basics also work. So I'm going to be explaining that. The music system in WISE, I've taken this project and updated it to the, one of the latest versions of WISE. So now you automatically jump into the music system if you are actually having an object inside of this music hierarchy down here, which in the past was different because you had to go to a specific layout to go to the music editor. You don't need to do that anymore because you will have everything you need inside of this window. The music system in WISE feeds off two things. Incoming audio events that tells us when to start and stop the music or trigger specific things, or states. States that can be derived from anything. It can be, is our game playing or is our game paused? Are we alive or are we dead? Certain music states could be, you could have an entire music state group just for every level. So if you have five levels, you would have music state one, two, three, four, and five. You can also have states for which area of a level you're in or sub levels. So you can have a main, main state for a level for a world, and then you can have one per level. You can have one for each area. You can have one for literally everything. So let that, with that in mind, know that you can never, ever have too many states in WISE. Ever. You can have states for everything, and so you should. It's not expensive to have more states or anything like that, and you can control more with it. But to begin with, we're just going to open the music system, have a sound that plays off that we have one event that should be just triggered when the game starts, and we have a state that'll be able to shift between these four or five tracks that we have, could be level one, two, three, four, five. And now that's it. Then you will understand the basics of how the music hierarchy works. Let's get started. I am going to take a couple of tracks. Now, these are some I made for school. Let's drag them in here in music folder. That. Now we can click them. And as you can see, it automatically pops up over here with the correct editor. In the past, you had to go to a specific layout to see this, but you don't anymore. And it works exactly the same way if we just select one and press play by hitting space. One track. You can even skip fast forward and so on here. All these tracks, there are tracks that I made. I made all these tracks in school. It was actually my graduation project when I had this randomized patch. But in order to get all these working, these are called so-called music segments. This actual track is located here, and this is a music segment. What you want is to have a child. As you can see here, you can do a music switch container. I know it's called a switch container, but it should feed off states and not off switches. But it can switch based on states. The only situation where you should be using switches on the music system is if you have located, locatable 3D music. Let's say you have a radio in a level that plays over here and you can change what plays on that radio. So it's a 3D object that is forwarded into the game, just like any other object into, the, into your game world. You can feed it switches because if this radio needs to be separate and different from a different radio on another level or so, then sure, use switches, but if this is about overall music that you want to switch according to which level you're on and so on, use states only. So let's go ahead and create a music switch container. Let's call it our main music switch. And a very common thing that I see, and it's not that it's a rule or anything like that, but that is that a lot of wise people create hundreds of these music switches. And that's because they are used to working up here in the actor hierarchy. Let's say for our ambiences and so on, you have all these various sounds for everything and you have events that trigger literally everything. So test this and that or footstep this and that and so on. 
And that is, sure, you can have as many as you want, and you can have them trigger each other and other things, but it's quite easy just to have this one event that triggers when the game starts, and it triggers this main music switch, and then this music switch simply feeds off states. Let's go ahead over here over our states and say, let's create a states group and let's call it the music state. Because we already have a game state that says, is are we in the game? Are we in a menu? Are we, what area are we in? Are we alive or are we dead? Are we indoor or outdoor, etc. So our music state could, for example, be, are we in ambient mode or combat mode? The game status already knows all these. Which area are we in? Farmland level area, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So music state could be ambient, and it could be combat, could be post-combat, it could be pre-combat, it could be many other things, but let's stick to ambient and combat just for now. We won't be using these right now, but you will get the picture. Over here in our main music switch, let's say that we want, because we have this area state over here, we want that to control which level are we currently on. So we'll drag and drop our state here. So let's go ahead and drag our tracks into our music switch. Here, we can just select which one we want to go to. Farmland 1, Farmland 2, Farmland 3, Farmland 4, Farmland 5. And these are the paths that we have. You can create several paths. So you could say over here that if the game was something special, like in this case, then something else will happen. But we are not going to do that right now. Technically, this music switch can have an event that simply just says play main music switch. So now that we've added our music here, if we press play, it'll only play this. If we set it to, if we stop and hit number two here, press play, it'll play that one. But notice if we change the state during playback, nothing happens. And that is because you need to go into your main music switch and click transitions. Transitions up here goes from any to any. When does that occur? It happens on the exit queue, but what if we want it to happen immediately? Then now we can switch between these. You can also set it to specifically do it, let's say, on the next beat, because on each and every individual one of these, you can set a specific tempo. And when you click this option here, this one track, you can literally say when is the start and when is the stop cue of these. And if Wise knows that this is a tempo of 120 beats per minute, which it's definitely not in this case, but it'll know when the beats are. You can even in here say add a custom cue there. And then over in your transitions say that if we go from one to the other, can say on next custom queue or next queue, you can add queues to your actual audio files, exit queue, next beat, next bar, etc. Expand this a little. We can make a new transition. Transition from specifically this song to this song. And then specifically from maybe this song to this song. You can make as many of these as you want. Thing is, Wise reads this, this, this list from below. So if you have a state or situation here where it knows, oh, I switched from one to the other and there's a specific rule for it, it will use it. Else eventually it'll reach the top transition and that'll be any to any. But let's try between one and two, say that this should happen immediately. But what if we do from this one, from two to three, that should happen on the next bar. That'll just be because the track is 120, 120 beats per minute, so that'll be in the next four or something. Let's see if we go back to our event here, say farmland area one, let's try and play it. So if we switch to two, to track two, it should immediately change. But if I switch from this to three, it should change on the next bar start. There you go. And that 
is the basic foundation of the WISE music system. You feed it events and you trigger a system and you live off these states. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you got the gist of what the music system can do. The music system can do thousands of things, not just music. So it's actually stupid that it's called the music system. It should be called the interactive timeline or something like that. But to begin with, we'll just check out music. Thank you for watching this Kujo Sound video on how to do AAA size projects in WISE. If you like this video, why not hit the thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel and all the time that I take off to create all this content, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you again in another video or check out some of the other videos on the channel. It's a lot of game audio stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.